Hello and welcome to the Nerd Cave. In this tutorial, we are going to look at how to connect the popular LCD 1602 module with I2C to the Raspberry Pi. We are going to use the Raspberry Pi OS Bookworm, so make sure you have that installed on your Raspberry Pi. If you're not sure how to do that, you can watch my Getting Started video. We need to make sure that I2C is set up on our Raspberry Pi and to do this is very easy. Click on Start and then go down to Preferences and click on Raspberry Pi Configuration. Now click on the Interfaces tab and here you can tick the I2C and I'm also going to enable a few other things for future demos. After you have done that you can press OK. Now that the I2C is enabled, let's connect the LCD module to the Raspberry Pi using the following diagram. We are using GPIO2 which is our STA and GPIO3 which is our SCL. So make sure to connect those in the correct position on your LCD. And then 5V for the power and also ground. The LCD screen will light up and it will look something like this. Since we are using I2C, the LCD will have a unique address and it's easy to go find what is that address. Click on terminal and in the terminal we will type the following command. This will then give us our screen location in hexadecimal which we see is 3F in hexadecimal. You can close the terminal and go open your browser and go to the website nerdcave.xyz then click on the Raspberry Pi get started then click on the sensor module tutorials and click on tutorial 1 LCD1602 and go to LCD library and copy the library. Now that we have copied the library, press on the Raspberry Pi icon and click on programming and click on Phony. Now we want to paste our library in this new file. Now we can go save this to the Raspberry Pi, so click on file, save as and let's go create a new folder in our documents and I will just call this folder LCD demo and then inside this LCD demo folder we will call our file name lcd.py now create a new file and then go back to the website and click on the code and scroll down a little bit and copy the demo code now go back to Fony and paste the code now go make sure to save this new code with our LCD library. And let's just call this one demo.py. So let's just quickly run this code and see what happens and then we will look at the code together. Running the code we get the following. It will show Nerdcave in the first line and tutorials in the second line for 5 seconds and then clear the screen. We first start by importing time which is just a standard Python library for handling time related tasks. The LCD library is a custom one we imported. There are various of custom libraries available. We then initialize the LCD screen and here we are using the second revision and here we are using that address. So if your address is different you'll have to update your address here. Then using our library we will use lcd.message and here we can write our message and we can indicate on which line it should be. So in this case we're going to just write nerdcave on line 1. And then again we use lcd.message and then we write tutorials on line 2. So this will then display Nerdcave tutorials on the screen. And here we have a time sleep for 5 seconds. And then we use a function called lcd.clear that will clear the screen. So using this demo code you can make your LCD display anything that you want. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I will see you in the next video.